Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Happy Friday, March 4th, 2022. And welcome to this episode of Daily Video Announcements. I'm Happily. Hello, I'm Cece. We're so excited to bring you today's news. Let's unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart while we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. Thank you and please be seated. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to... Wait, why are we singing this song now? It's not a birthday shout out time yet. Oh, I know. I bet this has to do with our did you know for today. Yeah, you're right. On this day back in 1924, Happy Birthday to You was published by Clayton Sonny. Yes, it says here that on March 4th, the song and melody of Happy Birthday to You were printed in a songbook. That is one of the world's most famous songs, and that has long been the center of controversy over ownership and copyright status for years. Really? Interesting. I wonder why. I found that multiple groups claimed copyright status and ownership of the melody or lyrics until a campaign was launched to disapprove the claim in 2015. A judge ruled that the song wasn't under copyright and royalty-free obligations anymore. This made the song officially part of the public domain and one of the recent owners had bought the right for $2 million and then had to pay back $14 million in collected royalty fees. Yay! <laughs> Thank goodness. So I can sing happy birthday to my friends in public without getting permission or paying royalties? Yes, and according to the Guinness Book of World Records, Happy Birthday to You is the most popular song in the English language. On that note, I think we should do our birthday shoutouts. Good idea! Happy, happy birthday to Emma and Jason Z celebrating today and happy birthday to those celebrating over the weekend. Mrs. Frey and Mr. Von Wallady on Saturday, student William P. on Sunday. Happy birthday and have fun celebrating. Another shout out to our high school basketball team competing for the district title this weekend. Go A's! Also, today's National Grammar Day. Before you groan, this day has a past. Dialect officials started this day when they began making an effort to have every social class use proper grammar. It was a turning point in the English language history. Now for the fact of the day. The oldest dog was 29 years and 5 months old. Wow. Today's daily survey. First, the survey from yesterday asked if you've ever traveled out of the country, and it looks like the vast majority of you have traveled outside the country. That is super cool. And don't forget to check today's daily survey posted in Google Classroom. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. By the way, today is see-through day, so they have created this special effect, so I'm completely see-through right now. I'm completely transparent, so hope you guys enjoy it. Some people wish my face was like that, but we can't do that. All right, so International Club, you will not meet today, so no International Club today. Please go home after school. First Robotics Club, you're going to have meetings after school next Monday the 7th and Wednesday the 9th until 5 o'clock. If you have questions, please see Mrs. Jarvis. All right, we the people, your next meeting will be Thursday in the Media Center at 7 a.m. Please remember to bring your books and completed graphic note organizers for your unit lessons. All your assigned chapters are due then, and remember to get together with your group members between our meetings to work on your debate preparations. We'll be practicing the first question aloud at the next meeting, so come prepare. Check your emails and the Remind app for the latest updates. And speaking of Remind, hey, go out this weekend. We need those personal care products, okay? Go out. We need you to put those in the barrels. Uh, again, seventh grade, if you win, Mr. Labricombe and I, we do a little dance for you, okay? And I'm practicing. All right, eighth grade, if you win, you get to see Ms. Bernoski and Shomo doing a dance. I don't know if you guys are ready for that. But more importantly, we need you to bring those hygiene products in because they're for people who are a little less fortunate and might need those kinds of things. So this weekend, when you go to Kroger's, throw a couple extra things in, bring them in the bins in the front of the school when you come in on Monday morning. That contest will run, excuse me, through all of next week, all right? That's all for me today. You guys have a great day, great weekend. Enjoy a great weekend. Looks like we're going to get some good weather, and I'll see everybody on Monday. Okay, what's for lunch today? 
For lunch, we have mashed potato bowl. We also have hamburgers and cheeseburgers. People might frown because of grammar. But it's actually really important for keeping us educated. Yeah, unlike others, I love grammar. Now for the joke of the day. Bruce Lee was fast, but his brother was faster. Who was his brother? Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go Apes! Apes.